I've recently created my very first own deck and today we'll have a look at exactly that. In my most recent video I showed you guys how I created the deck, but today we're having a look at how to actually play it. So without further delay, let me introduce Nami Goes Undercover. This deck, as the name implies, is built around the idea of buffing up your elusive units with either Nami, Gemcrafter or Mind Melt, and getting in a sneaky, unstoppable onslaught of very chunky undercover agents killing your enemy. Having a quick look at the deck before we get to the actual gameplay, we are running Gemcrafter and Fleet Admiral Shelly in combination with Nami as our main way to win. On top of that, we have an acceptable early game to survive until you can finish off your opponent and Mind Melt as our ultimate finishing move. The playstyle we're going with is rather simple. Try passing on turn 1 and 2 and power level Nami if you can. Get some early damage in with some of the early elusive units such as Zoe and win in the late mid game or early late game by dropping your buffed spies and killing your opponent. A lot of games with this deck are really close, but in my personal opinion that only adds to the fun making sure not a single game is really clear cut. Another thing we rely quite a lot on is going to be Spell Thief. We only run a single removal spell, so to make sure we don't get overrun we can always yoink a vengeance or the likes from our enemy. Finally, the last thing you need to be careful about is not dying until you get to get your combo off. I can't really give you a one fits all tip here, but judging by my experience with the deck so far, I would say you need to be a bit more risky with your trades, taking quite a bit of haste damage, as you really don't want to lose your elusive units early onto nothing. So now that we know what we're trying to achieve, let's have a look at a very close but very fun game. If you have any questions about the deck, please feel free to comment them below, and I'd be very grateful if you considered subscribing. So prefer the Nami wonder. Meanwhile, the Zoe skin we have equipped is actually one of the worst ones in the whole game, if you ask me. Uh, I can show it to you in just a second, but yeah. Like, look at the quality of this picture. This is looking terrible. Like, this one is fine, you know. High quality, you can actually see what's going on, but like, here you can actually see, like, the pixels of the card. Which is, you know, you never want that. Right. So, comparing this one to uh, the other one you just saw. My personal opinion, the Zoe one ain't looking that hot. You know that someone is a pedophile if they have a Zoe skin. Um, if that is how that works, we have a lot more pedophiles on this world than I thought we did. Um, yeah. Well, I'm, not, I'm not having any of that. For fuck's sake! I forgot this also costs one mana now. Oh god. Somebody go beat me with a fucking rock after that one. That is, yeah, that is a game losing move. We can kill the Battlesmith now. I'm pretty sure we've lost because of it. <laughs> I don't want to, you know... Yeah. And there's the second one. Okay, then. Let's see if we can get a silence, please. No. That is not good. That is very bad. Okay, then. Um. Oh, she gives me Marble Soda Bites from Sean Wasabi. I want Debenel Z in this game, but I give him the same entry animation as in Lore, so he's on top of a red carpet. That's a pretty cool idea. Yeah, this is, this is over. I don't think we have in a hundred years enough value to top this. Is there anything we can do here? Like this one's gonna trade horribly in 9 out of 10 cases. We can stun that and survive for one more turn, but that's kind of it. Not going too hot, gonna be honest. And if he has any kind of buff spell card, this is gonna be, you know, finished even quicker. He's being as smart as about this, he's gonna attack with every single one of his units. Because he should know at this point that we have no units. Because if we would, uh, I wouldn't be starting here. Just attacking with these two. Bit of an odd choice, not gonna lie. Yeah, obviously I would have loved to stun that one and kill this one with the pedal star, but... Um, yeah. Even though our health is looking somewhat fine, I can promise you it's not. Definitely not fine. Second Zoe now. Okay then. Ay ay ay. I mean, you know, the wink messages are kind of useless without the buff. And there's no buff that we have at all right now, so. Um, have you seen this lol recall? I, I have not. Oh yes, I have 5 mana 5 7. My favorite. Let's see if we can get the silence off. Yet again, not happening. Let's see if he allows us to stun the next turn. I think I might as well play the bubbly fish now. Manifest a follow you can afford. You know what? I think we need everything we can. Get our hands on here. Westrus host seems about okay. Gonna give us some more extra attack damage. Um, and let's see if he's gonna attack straight away. I mean, worst case scenario, he has a Garen in hand. Uh, Javan in hand, and there's that. Best case scenario, he's gonna play something now and we're stunned. We'll see. We might be able to win with, like, the Mind Melt at some point. There you go. There's the dog. Challenging the elusive or not too chuffed about that. Kind of hoped it would challenge the other one. I guess this one is more expensive. That is not what I wanted to play. So we would be taking 13 damage or we do Suzui. What a lovely trade that is. Oh no, actually we're fine. Never mind. I don't know where I got my mass from, but... 
certainly wrong about that. Um, we could kill that one. Don't think that is worth it at the moment, though. Hmm. The only way we can win is by, you know, attacking within one turn and killing him with elusives, but that also means we need to survive until then. Actually, we might be able to just win off of the Zoe. Wait, wait, wait. All of them are going to get elusive now, right? Grow their attack to, like, eight. This is finished. He's just not allowed to have a strike now. No, they don't get elusive. Why, da why are they not getting elusive? Huh? Huh? When you summon an ally, grant its keywords to all allies. Oh shit, I need to play an elusive for that to work. Okay, so I guess we need to survive now. Uh, watch the timestamp. Oh, okay, that's the uh, level up animation then. Or not level up, the recall animation. That's kind of cool. But I think Zed is not a champion that works well in lore at the moment. Like, there's one deck type that he's being played with at the moment. That's it. We do summon a elusive, funnily enough. Sadly, we don't have enough for the mind mid anymore. And he is getting rid of the Zoe now. So that is not too great, is it now? Kind of need that. So if we trade our entire board next turn... Yeah, then there's... Like, we need to, though. <laughs> we need to actually yoink the strike off of him next turn. If we don't want to lose the Zoe, that is. Oh, oh god. We are so, so close to winning. But yet so far away. This is so annoying. Oh... This makes my brain hurt. Let's see what we can get now. Stun. I mean, he's gonna instantly attack. No shot. Guess we can still try. Hmm. Yeah, the problem is we can't leave a single unit unblocked here. Get the Nami now. That is, like, too late. Yeah, since they're gonna attack, we need to block the uh, whole nine uh, yards. One of our units survives. <laughs> One. What kind of spells did he play so far? Single combat, that's it. So, uh, spell field is not gonna do us any good now. Let's hope he doesn't have the card ready now. If he doesn't, we might still have a chance. If he does, no shot. We'll see though. Rest in peace, Zoe. Very excited to see her level up in the first place, but yeah. So yeah, let's just all pray to God himself that he doesn't have the card. He does not. I repeat, he does not. If he's playing it now, I'm gonna be a bit mad. Because that means I got baited big time. Okay then. We have one. As far as I'm concerned. I don't know how, but we have one. There's no denying this deck. No shot for him to win now. Right? Because like, even with a fucking challenge. <laughs> that is... Yeah! Must be frustrating for him. Play your Cataclysm all you want, my dude. Oh, wow. Wow. Impressive. That was impressive. That is impressive. Didn't think we actually would survive the attack and win off uh, still after that, but... Yeah, we have won regardless. Kind of RNG-based because if we would have gotten the, you know, double attack card, we, we would have been straight up dead. But I'm gonna take that. Whew. Close one. Very much a close one. He seems to be uh, rage quitting. Which, understandably, you know, it's kind of understandable. But yeah. <laughs> Ooh, mind melt for the win. Mind melt for the win. I'm telling you, this card. Starting hand wasn't very good. Misplay in the beginning. You know, not a lot of stuff went our way, but we did win in the end. Barely so, but we did win. However the fuck we did that, I don't really know. Well, I knew, I know, but that was, that was, that was hella close. Ooh. What a win. What a win indeed. <laughs> Let's go for another one. This deck is very fun if it works. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day. Now, if you want to have a look at the video in which we created this deck, maybe consider watching that next.